You are going to love this cooking demonstration for short ribs cooked sous vide style. Sous vide short ribs are deliciously tender and juicy. These ones are made in a red wine sauce. There's plenty of garlic, there's rosemary, and there's sauteed onions. So there's plenty to love about this particular sous vide short rib recipe. I'm going to bring you through all of the steps. I'm going to show you exactly how to prepare the ingredients and vacuum seal them. And then I'm going to show you how to set up your bags and whether or not you should be cooking them for 24 hours versus 48 hours sous vide. Once the demonstration is done for the sous vide portion of this recipe, I'm going to show you how to finish off your cooked short ribs in the oven and then we're going to talk about sauces and how you can easily whip one up with the roasted onions and the red wine. So let's jump right into preparing your ingredients for the sous vide short ribs. The first thing you're going to do is set your temperature to 180 degrees. That way the water starts heating up while you're preparing the ingredients. Next you're going to get your short ribs ready and dice up onions so they're ready to go in the bag. Next you need one cup of red wine. I used a Cabernet Sauvignon for this particular recipe. Balsamic, one tablespoon of it. Another tablespoon of garlic. And then you need some salt and pepper. You're going to stir all these ingredients together and then put them in the sous vide bag. First start with the short ribs, add them to the sous vide bag, and make sure that they're in a single layer. You want it to be as thin as possible when you put them in the sous vide water bath. If your vacuum sealer is a little finicky, you might not want to add all of the red wine sauce, but once your ingredients are in the bag, you're ready to vacuum seal it and then get it ready for the sous vide cooking. Once the water is heated up to 180 degrees, it's time to add in your sous vide short ribs. Ooh, these are gonna taste so delicious when they're ready to come out. I made this recipe last week and I cannot wait to make it again. Here's a tip that's good when you're doing a long cook sous vide, like these 24 or 48 hour short ribs. You should definitely add some foil to the top if you don't have a sous vide bath cover or if you don't use those little balls that keep the heat in. Otherwise, make sure to keep checking on your sous vide so it's not losing water. You want the meat to be fully immersed in water while it's cooking. After the 24 hour sous vide cook period or the 48 hour if you choose to do that method, which I'll discuss a little bit further in a minute, you're ready to add these to the broiler in your oven. The broiling gives the outside a really nice thick uh, kind of crunchy texture while the inside of the short ribs remain really soft and delicate. Personally, I like to serve these sous vide short ribs with a side of something really decadent. So sometimes I'll do it with macaroni and cheese. Other times I'll do mashed potatoes. Rice would be great as well. If you want, you could uh, take off the meat from the bone and make some delicious short rib tacos. I think no matter how you do it, you're going to always wish that you sous vide more of the short ribs because cooking them this style is really delicious. You'll find that a lot of the fat comes off of the, the meat, so there's not really picking out fat like there would be if you might do this in the crock pot or something like that. Ah, look at that beautiful, beautiful short rib. Now, please don't mind while I show a couple of photos that I took while I made these, and you can find the full detailed recipes for this at sitbitego.com along with other sous vide freebies that I have up there like menu plans as well. So before I let you go, let's do a quick check-in and talk about 24 hour sous vide short ribs versus 48 hour sous vide short ribs. Now, to be honest, it's really hard to wait a day, never mind two days to eat these short ribs. Your kitchen will probably start smelling delicious while they're cooking and sometimes you'll have to keep refilling the water, so it might be harder to plan out more than one day in advance. But if you can wait, I would say the 48 hour short ribs have a quality to them where they're falling off the bone quite a bit more. So here's the final tip for making these sous vide short ribs. 
There's so much delicious sauce left in the bag after they're done sous viding. It tastes like red wine, it tastes like onions, it's so delicious. My husband always likes to make a little sauce. So he pours the remaining red liquid into a glass and sticks it in the fridge or the freezer so the fat separates. He removes the fat from the top of the glass and pours in the remaining garlic and the red wine into a pan and adds butter and stirs until it's really thick. This is a really simple and easy sauce. And please do not forget about those delicious onions. They've been caramelizing in the bags and they totally deserve to go on top of your short ribs as well. Well, I hope you've had a wonderful time learning how to make these sous vide short ribs. You really can't go wrong if you do 24 hours or 48 hours. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sip Bite Go channel on YouTube and check out the site SipBiteGo.com. You can get tons of different articles and information about sous vide cooking there. I hope you have a wonderful day and a delicious meal. Cheers!